Welcome to another edition of the Bloody Legends with John Elvin Mel Guy and Jim Taylor. You know what to do. Be a legend and hit that like and subscribe. G'day, how are you all going? It's time for another edition of the Bloody Legends with Jai, that Aussie metal guy, and Jim. Today we are joined by the man, the myth, the legend, CJ Pierce from Drowning Pool. Thank you very much, CJ, for joining me, man. I am, for one, this a is, rad, dude. is truly indebted to you, man. I think when that um album dropped, the Sinner album, man, that was on high repeat for me. Um, I think it was 2021 when that dropped, man, and it was a highly influential album, man. I kind of want to start there. What was it like making that album, dude? Because, you man, know. I appreciate all your kind words. That was an awesome time um, in my life, awesome time for us, everybody in Drown Pool in our career, man. You know, like every band and uh, every local band, I always feel like that here in Dallas. I always support the scene. We're always out hanging out and watching all their local bands. And, you know, everybody wants that, you know, you want that dream. You want to get signed and get your music out there, get your art out there. And that actually happened. We're like, shit, they pulled the name out of the hat. This is happening. Um, it was yeah. amazing, dude, the experience, especially having that, sure, you know, with Dave Williams, it was um, it was awesome, man. We went to LA and did our first like real record, you know, January, February, March of two thousand one, and released it uh June fifth. That's right. And uh, man, it's just uh, it's nuts. We're still rocking out here. It's like twenty twenty five, almost twenty five years later, man. Yeah, almost twenty five years, man. Yeah, man. It's been a great yeah. twenty five years, and I think the name of one of your albums, Resilience best typifies drowning pool because you've had your ups and your downs but through it all you've stayed strong and just kept cranking out the metal you know what i mean yeah dude it's quite the roller coaster ride of um you know management and label just uh that's the thing too you know, we, we were jamming last night working on some new music um and you know we had that conversation again it's like that that the business side can really you know take that away from me but you just got to overcome it it's, it's all about the music it's all about hanging out like for us in the rehearsal room but just writing what we feel having a good time with it and we had such a great time last night so you know mm. if anything i can everybody coming up man don't don't let the business uh bring you down because it's it's tough you know it's tough for everybody on, on the music side of things but uh it's all about getting like i said your art and getting your music out yeah, it's definitely tough for everybody at the moment. I think the streaming platforms have a big fucking, a big uh, answers, some questions to answer to that, I believe. Um, where touring now is a big part of the band, where before you'd release an album, you'd sell your album, you know what I mean? You buy your merch and things like that. Now it's basically make a fucking album, give it away for a fucking a, a little minuscule to the streaming platforms and they kind of stooge in everyone at the moment, kind of really does my oh, head yeah. in. That's why I really like platforms like, you know, Bandcamp where they send more to the right. bands and buying merch. Buying merch is a big thing for the bands these days too. Yeah, man, it's been great, especially having Ryan McCombs back in the band because yeah. he's been um, – It's getting there. And he's just been awesome since day one since he's come back, man. He's on top of it. He's on fire, like – rehearsal has been great um he's coming up with you know art ideas his um his wife she does a lot of tattoo art as well and you mm. know like you said man it's just ideas are flowing right now man it's been a while since we had we had this and uh everything's going great we're very fortunate man we're still rocking it yeah so ryan Beautiful. is ryan mccombs is back as well dude it's, uh, must be good to have him back on board eh? Yeah, it's been great, man. You know, we had a great connection. We had a great time, you know, um, early, you know, 2000s, um, we, you know, two strong records, uh, a lot of great music. And I forgot, you know, it's been almost 12, 13 years since we worked together. And he's, you know, he lives um, outside mm -hmm. of London now and he comes here and he's staying at, at my house. And it's like the second he walked in the door, we just started writing again because I forgot in the past he would come in and we had limited time to work and we would just take advantage of all that time. And uh, maybe it was a subconscious thing where we just sat out you know, I got a gazebo thing I built in my backyard right when you walk out there, just like a cool little chill place to, to work. And we just started writing, man. Just like, write, 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 write. It was, it was awesome, dude. And Beautiful. Yeah. And you're still based out of Dallas, yeah? Yeah, we're still out of Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. Yeah, there's some great out music of, coming out of Dallas besides yourselves no as doubt. well. Yeah, man. It's <laughs> crazy warm, but that's all right. It gets us ready for the rock show. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Big shows coming up as well. I do have a little image of that. You are playing with, of course, Saliva. It is the Snafu Le Tour um, with yourselves, Adelita's <laughs> Way, and Any Given Sin. And that looks like a bloody huge tour you've got on. I'll share a little no image there for the people watching on the video. If you're listening, yeah, check it out. my bad. <laughs> there we go. That That's huge, man. Starting in Greenville, then 
all over the bloody place there, eh? Yeah. Ending in um, Florida, is it? Yeah, it's ending in Florida. No, it's great, man. You know, we've been live off and on forever. I mean, we've been friends with those guys since 2001. The first time we actually played together nice. was WrestleMania 18 and um, just connected with those dudes. I know, like, every band, you know, some changes here and there, but those guys are going strong. The music's great. You know, they have new music out that's awesome. Everybody there in their camp's amazing, dude. So I'm looking forward to touring with them again. It's been a while. You know, Adelita's Way has played with us a few times off and on and uh, rocking out with Any Given Sin as well, man. It's going to be it's gonna be a great show, man. All the bands are awesome. kicking ass. Yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. It's fair to say, like, with this tour coming and, you know, Ryan back on board, um, probably be a good – you'd be working on some new material, I suppose, give you a chance to play together a bit and work on some new stuff. Yeah, or, well, I, yeah. you know, we just kind of fell into it, you know, just ease into it. I mean, we, yeah. um, you know, had a, a good 10 years run with with, uh, with Moreno. We have uh, three strong records with him. But uh, just coming around this year, given the business, COVID, everything like that, you know, mm. we – uh. We had some shows coming up and earlier this year, one of them being with Pantera, which was amazing. So uh, it was just sure. at the time, but starting out the year as a three piece, um, you know, it was a bass player, Stevie. It was like, hey, let's give Ryan a call, see what he's been up to. I hadn't talked to Ryan in a few years until now, you know, good four or five years. And uh, we hit him up and it's just, you know, yeah, man, I'll come out and do some shows. And the second he rolled in, it was like, we didn't skip a beat. I mean, we walked in the rehearsal room. I took my guitar out of the case. And Mike Luce, our drummer, just starts playing Let the Sin Begin, which is one of the songs off of oh. our record. And I didn't even tune. I was just awesome. writing guitar just started playing. Like, oh, here we go. We just jumped into it. <laughs> Great, dude. That's uh, awesome. Ryan's an ever man. He's, you know, he does all these awesome, crazy vocal warm-ups. And, and again, you know, we sing a lot of backups now. We just, you know, we progress to that. And Ryan, you know, in the rehearsal room, I mean, he's singing every part of everything, like super strong. He wants to, you know, go overboard and, and you know, be on top of it. So when we go on the road, you you know, it's it's there, man. It's ready to fucking rock and roll. <laughs> That's the way. Well, what what guitars are you using at the moment, mate? Ah, oh, man, my I, question. Yeah, yes. this is Jim's. <laughs> questions. This is right up Jim's alley. Oh, no, <laughs> you, you just go for it. Yeah. I'll just sit back for a minute while you talk guitar porn. <laughs> I'm at the house. But, uh, I'm going to pop out real quick. I'm very fortunate and grateful to have this, but I, I'm definitely a guitar collector. Yeah. And, uh, oh hell yeah, dude. Show you the wall real quick. Oh wow. Oh my god. There you go, people. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a little fun, man. But uh BC Riches, that's my company, man. That's who I'm working yes, for. Billy amazing. And um they kind of went down for a little bit. Um, you know, change of hands who was owning it. And I'm so glad that Bill has it now and and he's back on, you know, back on track. And I got some new Mockingbirds mm. coming out on this run, which is awesome. And, um, you know, we, I had some custom designs that I did with him a while back, and we had talked about new ones. And uh, so we're hopefully uh, coming into the next year, I can get some new new custom designs happening. Nice. Beautiful. I was I was going to say, sir, you, you've you always been um, – yeah, I've always uh, thought you have a, such a unique way of playing – guitar and rhythm you you come up with these different you, you it's not only just playing the riff but you 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 come up with almost sound effects uh with your playing i i believe uh um oh my god forgive me it, it's been a while there's a song i think you had called tear away oh, yeah. and you had this really crazy like it was like you had a flanger uh yeah on on yeah at the beginning and it was really unique what you did with that that led into the main riff but i got oh, a great dude, story just... about, and an awesome story how that came about um you know I'm, i've always been a digitech fan and that's you know we had oh, the, yeah. the 21 came a 21 12 came out sorry back then and the, on that on that unit you can mix flanger and phaser uh, but it, oh. it cancels each other so i was trying to find a sweet spot to use both um where, where it doesn't get too muddy weird sound so I was literally just going and then programming it. And um it was I didn't I wouldn't even write the song. I was just doing that. And Dave, Dave Williams went down because the bathrooms were were on the second floor. So he went down yeah. to the bathrooms below a rehearsal room and I'm working on this thing, programming some flanger, some phaser, making them, you know, work together. And uh he comes up, what are you doing? I'm like, working on this program. Just stop, just keep doing it. So I, I saved it. Yeah. Haven't changed since. 
the second he said say that and i went yeah and he just started singing i'm tearing away like that it was well, just and, and, when it and that was on, interesting like, it played off of each other so like so well like he because he had a unique vocal line and it matched your guitar line and it yeah, was he, just insane dude man thank you i appreciate that man uh, that's, yeah, oh, that's how I, oh. uh and and it, it, you know it, it and obviously, you know, you know, you guys were known for bodies, but for me, oh my God. So, so I, I actually, I write, I, I work in soundtracks with horror films and oh. I have a, a pretty, pretty vast collection of, um, uh, uh, sound movie soundtracks. So after, after that, and I knew you guys did that record, um, you were on WWE, I believe it was Reckless Intent. Yeah, we were on a couple of different they things. They were all over WWE yeah. at that time, dude. I was a, a bit of a WWE yeah. nerd as well. But you did, <laughs> you did Triple H, you did Triple H's theme. You did a variation of the game. Yeah, yeah, we did and a version was, of the game. Oh, was dude, awesome. and it, but that intro, every time I hear it, dun, 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 How can you not get ready to just, you know... You just coming right around. yeah dude <laughs> kick, kick Man, a lamb awesome. the fan yes sir brother this is this is this is this is very cool thank like thank you for being with us man this is so cool yeah so, man thank you for having me dude and, and uh, you know i appreciate it. that y'all i definitely uh you know again with the guitar and it's like art and i i love effects but i use them to like highlight the song uh, it's not so much like a, a crutch or like part of it as much as i you know i write what i feel and it's like how can i get this sound to you know accentuate right. this and that the last record there was a lot of little things i had time to work on it where if there was like a vocal line or was like a um any kind of sound i could put in there to like make that word stand out i i was just subtle things like little small things in the mix to For just sure. make you know, why this part it sounds bigger but there's something else going on and you know i'm really big into that i've done some producing and, and all that and i've done a lot of stuff with us as well especially the last couple of records and uh yeah man i love doing it i love writing i, lo I love all those crazy sounds man <laughs> beautiful uh, awesome. You did mention that too, um, Pantera playing with them. What was that like? Dude? Yeah, like, that's a right. Rough, man, because... Man, you know, I mean, I have, I have stories for days. Uh, you know, Dime and Vinny were so cool and so great. We actually yeah. met them because of Williams, um, you know, back Ooh. when we were getting started. They were always there, always supportive. And, you know, we got to do a tour with uh, Damage Plan and Hate Breed a while back as well. You know, right. I've seen Pantera, you know, before that all came up. And, you know, it's been a talks about it. And I think it's, dude, the show is so amazing. And yeah. and for us to share that with them and share the stage and they let us play with some of their toys and, you know, all the lights and the screens and all that stuff. Dude, it was just monumental. Cool. And to see people our age and, you know, these young upcoming rockers that have never seen a metal show like that. I mean, Pantera just like the definition of metal. And, and dude, they just nailed it. Every song yeah. just slammed it. Everything along so freaking loud, dude. It was awesome. Definitely. You know, I've always yeah. been asked the question, what's your favorite show, the best show ever? And it's always, I can't, I've never been able to answer that before because we've had so many great shows, so many club shows, so many, you know, tours, so many, you know, big festivals. And just that, that day, that whole thing, playing it with Fanta and watching them, you know, with obviously Charlie Venanti and, and Zach yeah. Wilde. It was, they oh, did yeah. the perfect tribute to Diamond Vinny, man. They, they nailed it. So that, that was, that was a great one, man. Was, yeah, me, me and Jim did, did talk down. about it in a previous podcast where we're pretty excited as well, you know, because, you know, it's Charlie and Zach and everyone was super close and it was, yeah, it was really exciting, man. So I'm glad it's all gone really, really bloody well for them. We're all about the love here and support and, you know Absolutely. what I mean? There yeah. needs to be more of it in these media. You got to see it. It's so good, man. It's so good. Hopefully they, they get down do. under. Hopefully they get down under. Right. We need to well, get back actually, here, man. Yeah, that's what was my next yeah, question. I was right. leading into that. You when are you doing in Australia, man? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's You're probably going to be pretty long. busy. So we did it, you know, it was 2001, 2002 um, with Dave, and then we went back. I think it was 2012, 2013. Yeah. We did a run. Um, and actually, the guy that booked us, his name was Dave Williams. How, how well is that? So we're talking actually wow. um, right now. There's talks of us trying to – we're trying to book, get everything set up next year. And, and, you know, Australia's on there. I love it down there. I almost moved there in 2001. After we toured, I was like, oh, this yeah. is amazing. I want to live here. So, right. Yeah. <laughs> Where, whereabouts were you thinking of living? It's a beautiful country all over, you know. There's so many. It, and people surprised. Like, I talk to my American friends and I explain how big Australia is. They don't yeah. get it. It's a massive, yeah. massive country. It's massive. But, you know, everything's pretty much on the, on the shorelines. It's it not is. like, you know. 
you, know, you don't want to go across the, the country. But we did fly into Mount Gambia and played there, too. That was pretty wild. Oh, yeah, Ooh. Mount Gambia, dude. Who'd you play with? Did you have any support over there? Because I know a few uh, bands down that way, too, man. Uh, Do you remember? Was, um, I have some, I've seen some video. I have it somewhere. Cross um, Dismembered or Wounded Pig or there's a few bands Mount Gambia way. They're good, good music all over Australia. Right? It's crazy, I love man. It. Oh, so many hard rockers in there. So many great bands. Awesome. Yeah, exactly. And then Voyager. Did you see Voyager um, done Eurofest from Australia? Um, I didn't get to see that yet. They got fourth. No. Really? <laughs> yeah, metal band. Nice. Dude. They got fourth in the world, dude. And I'd been push- they'd been pushing for years, dude. So I was like, fuck yeah, we finally got Aussie metal in um, Eurofest, mate. <laughs> Finally, right? Yeah, that's I know. killer, man. Yeah, I'll check that. Out. Yeah, definitely. That's awesome. Okay, cool. CJ, look, this has been an absolute pleasure. Jim, did you have anything else you'd like to chuck in, my friend? No, no I, I was going to say no. Same, same deal. Uh, I again, thank you for coming on with us, brother. This is this this is totally rad. And I even seen Jay in a bit here too. So uh, this is this is very cool to. I've been right uh, in the middle of cancer treatment. So uh, I said, I've got one interview in me, Shauna, and she's like, CJ, I'm like, done. Let's do it. <laughs> it's positivity, man. I'm putting all the positivity over to you. I'm just, you got this. Same. You got this. Same. That's it, brother. Liver surgery next week. Just- much love. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. Thank y'all so much. Brother. See you there soon. Oi, you know what time it is. You're tuned in listening to Draw That Aussie Metal Guy. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of his content when it drops. And remember, stay brutal, you mad dogs. Roof!